Tweedledee agrees to have a battle. For Tweedledum said Tweedledee has spoiled his brand new rattle. Just then flew down a monstrous crow as black as Since the dawn of time, people have been fascinated and a little frightened by identical twins. They are, after all, two halves of the same whole. If one is hurt, does the other feel pain? Can they read each other's minds? Maybe this special bond is only revealed when it's tested. Thank you all for respecting our request for wearing scary costumes. Hey, Heather, don't you think you should take your mask off, too? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Since this was my sister's idea, I'm going to pass it over to Erica. Thank you all for coming. Everyone looks really great. I thought it'd be fun to celebrate Halloween the way the ancient Celts did. They believe that on October 31st, spirits of the recently departed flew through the air searching for unsuspecting bodies to possess so they would dress as ghouls themselves trying to fool the evil spirits and passing them by wow but ghosts aren't real are they Antarctica? yes they are david rosie says they are well i said they're spirits all around us but they're not looking to possess us positive positive well, just to make sure, they would put out the fires in their fireplaces so that the evil spirits would pass overhead and think that nobody was home. Go quick, turn out all the lights. Go, 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 go. Go keep an eye on them. <laughs> Excuse me while I suck your sister's blood. <laughs> hey. Hey, everybody. Hey, who are you supposed to be? I'm a guy who just got in from Atlanta. Oh. I was just working on a huge deal. He's been traveling a lot. I'm so tired. My body's not worth possessing. Uh, er Erica, did you uh, tell them about the book? Mm -hmm. Her agent sold it. Apparently, the publisher, they flipped for it. Is this a new one? Yeah, I'm interviewing sets of identical twins to see if twin mythology had any impact on how they view themselves. All those myths. One twin is good and one twin is evil. Which one are you, Heather? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> Last couple of candles, guys. 
Is this Erica, look at those two. They're more like twins than we ever were. What should we do now, Mommy? <gasps> I think I just saw some spirits heading this way. Be very, very quiet. Good job. That's it. Come on, Sarah. Let's go see if we can catch them flying away. Okay, yeah. Let's go. What is it? We forgot the jackal under it, and some of the girls know where David lives. <laughs> go, yeah, yeah, let's go. See. Go see the ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Mommy. You know, sweetie, it's a tummy ache, okay? But it really, really hurts. Now, you know what? Why don't you stay home from school today and rest? Can you stay home with me? I would love to, but I have to go to work. Rosie's gonna stay with you, okay? Okay. 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 Mommy, where's Robbie? Honey, I don't know. Where'd you leave him last? My backpack, but he isn't here. Well, maybe you left him at school. I didn't. I lost him. I know I lost him. David, why don't you try your pockets? Good idea. This happens every morning. Oh, he's right here. Here he is. Robbie! <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Let's go. Grab your jacket. Not to state the obvious, but no candy for her today. Oh, you think? Did you call Heather? Oh, shoot. Oh, I forgot. I'll, I'll call her on the road. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'm so late. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 I love you. Yeah. Mm. I love you, too. Mm. Mm. Bye, Bye, Rosie. Bye. Bye, Rosie. Why are you here? There had to have been other courses more relevant to your major, or at least classes that weren't held so early in the morning. But you chose mythology, or did you? What if there are dark, unknowable forces, forces that have the power to create and or the power to annihilate? Heaven and earth in the eyes of the ancient Egyptians good and evil in the eyes of medieval Europeans. The great hoop of the universe in the eyes of the Navajo. Three disparate cultures with one distinct message. These walls between heaven and earth, good and evil, and life and death are illusions. And whether we're from Mesopotamia or modern day Chicago, we all have the same burning existential questions. Okay, let's go. So I'll try to pick you up after school, all right? Hi, guys. Oh, hi, how are you? Good. Where's Sarah? A cute candyitis, which I'm sure I'm gonna see lots of hey, today. Hey, Dr. Lauren, my scar's almost gone. You wanna see? Why were we born? Why is there suffering?
haven't said anything to Sarah. She uh, fell asleep on the cartoons. David's gone away. Who told you? David did. Sweetie, that's not possible. David isn't here anymore. Yes, he is. He's right over there. David was in a terrible accident today, and he died. I know, silly. He told me in my dream. Can I have a snack? What's wrong with her? Uh, I don't know. I, I think she's a little sad. Still? Yeah, honey, why don't you go play? Heather? I can't find it. I looked everywhere. I, I, I know that they gave it to me the day that I went to the hospital and they gave me the rest of his stuff because he had it that day. afraid of losing the memory of him. Edgar?
you doing, honey? What's this doing open? I opened it. Oh, oh it's freezing. Here, quick, come on, get into bed. Here, scooch over, I'll get in with you. Oh. There. David says paper doesn't wrap rock in heaven, but I think he's cheating. Well, I think you should be sleeping. Sarah is a very bright little girl. Yep. Yes. Sarah and David were very close. Most, uh, more, more siblings than cousins, really. Yeah, and I, I'm sure it's nothing, and it was probably just her way of processing David's death, but she talks about David all the time. Which is fine, because we did encourage her to talk about David. I mean... Yeah, David. but it's, it's, it's how she talks about him. Well, it's like she uh, doesn't really understand that he's dead. I mean, she hasn't cried, not once. And her crying about this is important to you? Um, well, it's just... It's not that it's important. I, I just, I don't know. I, I, I mean, she cried when my mother died, so I just kind of thought it was normal. Well, maybe Sarah senses you feel like that, and she's rebelling. It's a very age-appropriate response. At seven, it's all about asserting your independence. So, uh, what do we do? Nothing. She may not be crying, but she's grieving. And she's telling you she needs to do it in her own way. Let her. Is that the accident? No. What is it? I don't know. You doing okay, Sarah? Yeah. Okay, put your art supplies away. Today is the first Monday of the month, and that means we have a new class leader. Ben. Yeah. It's his. Demon doesn't get a turn. He's dead. Oh. Oh. Sarah, you don't like Ben? The teacher says you've been acting out in class. It's been, uh, Telling the other kids that David isn't really dead, but you know that's not true, right? Edgar. What, they call us out of work in the middle of the day to come and get her? They say I should talk with her and talk with her. Can we just do this when I get home? Talking about, we always take the bridge. Very nice. David told me. No, David doesn't tell you things. No, I just don't want her to talk about David, okay? But he. No, I mean it. Sarah, no more David, okay? This has gone far enough. I don't think that your mommy and I have done a very good we job. We can't get her on the bridge. We can't. I. I had to go to the bathroom. Well, we're almost home, so. I can't wait. Yes, you can. It's 10 minutes. Find a gas station or something.
your homework in your folder? Yeah. Did you draw this? Yeah, but it was David's idea. He told me what to draw. Sarah, listen to me. We're not going to talk about David like that anymore, okay? And we're not going to save a spot for him at the table or put out cereal anymore, all right? Okay. Okay. Can you get it packed up? Sure. Thanks. Okay, Miss Thing. Let's get going. Hey, hang on a second. What happened to your neck? Did you bump into something? No. Sarah, right? Getting her out of the city, away from all the reminders of David. Yeah. It's gonna do wonders for her. Okay? I love you. Heather, we can always try another specialist. since last summer. Oh, well, Sarah and I are gonna give this place a good clean tomorrow. What's wrong? This place reminds me of my mom. It was her favorite place in the whole world. Come here. Do you miss her? She misses you too. Swimming. Honey, you're gonna love it once you get in. How come you weren't coming in then? Because I'm a mommy and mommy's like it nice and warm. Mm-mm, don't look at me. I'm a mommy too. 
Is Aunt Heather still mommy? Sarah. Maybe she could come in with me. You want more to join the party? Hi, Aunt Heather! Hey! What are the chances of having another child? Not enough viable eggs to justify in vitro is kind of how the doctor put it. You can always try again, right? Yeah, I just... I don't know if I can handle another loss right now. I told Richard that I needed some more time, and Janice is going to cover my practice for me for the summer. Well, I'm glad you're here. Did you see that one? Oh, Cookie, I missed it. Do it again. You know, I blamed you at first. I kept thinking that if you had called me that morning, I wouldn't have come by your house. We would have gotten to David's school sooner. I know. I know, you know, it's just it's kind of been sitting there between us, so I thought I'd put it out there. You know, so I can move on. We all could move on. I'm happy I'm here. Sarah? Sarah? So mistake. You know you shouldn't scare your mama like that, right? It was fun. No, it didn't sound like any kind of fun to me. That's because you're me. Oh, you think so? Or is that what he thinks? I thought so. Protect this child. Look. I made you Friendship bracelet. He's my friend. No, he isn't, baby. He really, really isn't. Night, night now. She down? Yeah. We're really gonna have to watch her up here. Not just in the water, I mean all the time. She's been wandering off alone. Yeah, you notice she's still got those bruises on her shoulders? Yeah. Erica, have you ever heard of hands? Like a voodoo hand? Oh, come on, Rosie. Spirits looking to cross back over. Grab onto the neck of a living person and they won't let go. I know what it is. I teach you stuff, remember? David always was stubborn, had to have his own way. It's not that hard to believe he can't accept he's dead. Or she simply just bumped into something. She's a kid. Do kids draw pictures of car crashes that haven't happened yet? Look, her therapist thought it was perfectly normal considering what she's going through. He's talking to her, Erica. Oh. I mean, how else does she know the details, the truck? <sighs> He's showing off for her, letting her know he can see the future. Oh. So David's ghost is a psychic now, too, huh? Look me in the eye, Erica, and tell me that drawing didn't spook you. It didn't spook me. 
It made me sad, Rosie. She used to draw happy pictures. Okay. Okay, now, maybe I'm a little out of line here, but I thought the whole point of coming up here was to keep her away from things that might remind her of David. Are you referring to Heather? Maybe her leaving her job was good for her, but is it good for Sarah? You are out of line now. Hey. Hey. How's your run? It was good. Thanks. Good. She must be allergic. What's it made of? Just leather with some herbs braided in. Please, Mommy, don't cut it off. Baby, I have to. It's hurting your wrist, okay? No, Rosie said I needed it to protect me. It's okay, baby. I'll protect you. I'll protect you. Oh. I got it. Erica, wash it off with soap and water and give her an antihistamine for the swelling. Excitement for one night. I'm gonna go close the windows in the rest of the house, okay? Okay. Oh, I gave her the antihistamine. Oh, she's finally asleep. I love Rosa, you know I do. She's like a member of the family, but her beliefs might not be the best thing for Sarah. It was a friendship bracelet. With protective powers, it was just a game. You know, David's death affected all of us, including Rosie. And she's teaching Sarah to be afraid. Is that what you want? Just think about it, Erica. Maybe this would be a good time for her to take a break. Heather, I have to finish this draft. I haven't published anything in two years. Well, so let me help out. What else am I gonna do up here? Maybe you're right. I'll talk to her in the morning. I think I saw her light on. She's probably still awake. house in Barbados. During hurricane season, always be real, still in the eye of the storm, just beautiful. Next thing you know, it'd be tearing your house down. So what do you think? I think David's up to something. I don't know what, but he's got a plan, and Sarah's a part of it. David is dead, and it's not doing anyone any good talking about him as if he's still alive, especially not for Sarah. Now, I respect your beliefs. I do. Oh, we're so far beyond respecting beliefs here. The longer he's caught between worlds, the angrier he's gonna Rosie, get. Rosie, stop it. Look, I think we could all use a break from one another. At least for the summer, and then come September, we can reassess. There's a bus back to the city first thing in the morning, and I think it would be best for Sarah if you left before she woke up. Heather will take you in the morning. What's going on, Rosie? She didn't tell you. No. 
You know I love that little girl, right? Of course. Do me this favor. Take the bracelet, put it under Sarah's mattress. Erica doesn't need to know. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Rosie, don't worry about it. This will all blow over in a couple of days. Come on, you know the way Erica is. And in the meantime, I'll work on her, and I'm sure I can turn this all around, okay? Okay, everybody on. We'll see you in about two minutes. Sarah couldn't sleep. Could have woken me up. No, I don't mind. I've been a light sleeper myself lately. Can I see? We're gonna build a dollhouse. This is great. It is nice to see her excited about something. She's been so lethargic. Yeah, who knows? Maybe we have an architect in the family. Yeah, well, we could use one. Edgar met with a real estate agent, and basically there is nothing in our price range. Don't worry, you'll find something. Yeah, well, we have to. We've outgrown our apartment. We need more space. Yeah, well, space is overrated. Yeah, says the woman who lives in a huge house. OK, I'll, I'll go get the paint. I hear someone needs wood for a dollhouse. That's right. When you two smile, you look just like twins. I tend to go one way, and Jolene goes the other way. It's hard to say if that's something that we just, we just like those styles and those particular things um, just because of who we are, or if it's purely based on the facts that we want to try and run the opposite ways to, uh, to be more of an individual. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah, I've almost finished transcribing the twin interviews. Hey, that was fast. Yeah. Heather and Sarah are so intent on this dollhouse, I can barely talk them into taking a swim. Yeah, no partners to your procrastination, huh? Nope. Honey, I'm kind of lonely up here. I miss you. Hey, I miss you too, but it sounds like you're doing great. And the realtor's still looking for us. Hey, how's Heather? Hey, we're running into town to get some stronger glue. Our walls are falling down. Hang on, why don't you have her stay here with me? Oh, well, she's already in the car. Good. Yeah, Heather's good. I told you all that you 
apology that people make for someone who's dead. She believed me, but we have to be more careful. Why can't we just tell her? We will. Just not yet. She's not ready to hear it. What's wrong? Where's Aunt Heather? It's not Aunt Heather. It's the baby. What baby? There's something wrong with the baby. How many weeks pregnant? From the look of this, I'd say about 12 weeks. The bleeding is due to a small separation on the uterine wall here. Now, these things usually resolve themselves, but we we'll want to keep an eye on it. Bed rest for three weeks. Then uh, we'll do another sonogram and see where we're at. Thank you. The doctor said I have to stay in bed for at least three weeks. Really had, you had no idea that you were pregnant? I've used my period before, and, you know, and we hadn't officially started touring yet. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, no one told the baby that, so that's it. Honey, how'd Sarah know? Oh, she must have known we were thinking about it. She's a pretty intuitive kid. No, I mean, she knew that there was something wrong, honey. But I mean, before I even stood up, she knew. Hey, who cares how she knew? The important thing is this is good news, right? <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's your daddy. Hey there. Okay. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Come in. Wow, honey, that looks amazing. Make that by yourself. No. And Heather help you. You want to share it? I'm not really hungry right now. So why do you have to eat something? You're getting too skinny. No, don't worry about it. She already ate. I made her pancakes. We've been up for hours. Why don't you keep your mommy company while she eats? It's okay. Go ahead, go play. Good job, Cookie. I feel like she's slipping away from me. I can't tell you how many of my patients tell me that when they're pregnant with number two. It's just a natural pulling away. I know, but I'm not pulling away. She is. You're all she talks about. Really? Really. You and the baby. idea. You know, it's really heavy. I don't know if we can lift it. But maybe if we took it apart, we could bring it up in pieces. No, no, don't do that. You sure? 
Yeah. Are you trying to lose this baby? Well, I, I would just... No, get upstairs. Now. Erica has been acting very strange. She's scared and she's lonely and, and you guys are having all this fun decorating the dollhouse. I know, yeah, I, I've tried to include her. We even brought the wallpaper swatches up for her to look at. She's just, I don't know, she just didn't seem that into it. Come on, you know Erica. Interior decorating isn't exactly her uh, forte. <laughs> Come on. Piles of books and papers can be very chic. Yeah, yeah, for a dorm room. <laughs> and woman yachts and just be like, stop that, stop that, Julie, stop it. And she's like, no, no cat fights it's, it's just so late. Like, just, I don't know. Exactly. Sarah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've got a surprise for you. I made something for your dollhouse. Look, I took an old yogurt container and then I put this felt on there for a tablecloth. And if you give me some toothpicks, maybe I can put little chairs around it. Okay, can I go there? Come here. Come cuddle just a little bit with me, okay? I can't, and Heather's waiting. Fine. Sarah? Don't come in. What are you guys doing? Nothing. Heather. Heather, open up the door. This was supposed to be our vacation. Heather, look, you can't just come up here and take over. But, Mommy. It's okay, Cookie. Her name is not Cookie. It's Sarah, and you're not her mother. Open up this door! Heather, open! What are you guys doing? She ruined it. It's okay. Jeez, Erica, we were trying to surprise you. We managed to get it upstairs. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. That's amazing. No wonder you guys have been so busy. You want to show me? Wow. <gasps> oh, sweetie, I'm sorry I ruined the surprise. It has fireplaces. Oh, yeah? Sorry. It's fine. 
This is great, honey. Wow. Good news. Looks like the rupture has healed itself. Baby looks good. Oh, thank God. Does that mean I can get out of bed? Well, I wouldn't run any marathons, but uh, sure. Resume normal activity. Can you tell the sex of the baby? I don't want to know. Even if you wanted to, the way this little one is turned, I can't tell. All I can really see is the face. Just, uh, I'm really happy for her. You're gonna love this, I swear. Call the agent and uh, apparently it had just fallen out of escrow. It's perfect, huh? And the price, I mean, the price is a uh, high. Uh, Perfect. I uh, put an offer on it. What? I just, I just didn't want to wait for someone to swoop in and take Can it. Can we get out of it if it doesn't? No, 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 it's perfect. Come here, look at this. Look at that mess. Perfect. Come here, look at this. Perfect. Oh, you think a fire like that would give off a little heat? Freezing. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's put another log on. Let's get this thing going then. Thank you. Hey. You want to come help me get some wood? No, thanks. Honey, eat your dinner, please. Not really hungry. I don't care. I want you to eat something. Don't feel so well. You know what? Then you can be excused. She doesn't feel well again. She went to bed. You know, a year ago, she would have had a total fit. I don't understand. She's not eating. She's not sleeping. She hasn't made any new friends at the school. Okay, let's, let's just eat, OK? Let's, let's just not analyze Sarah tonight, right? I can't stay here. Look, we agreed. We're just going to give it some time, right? Yeah, I've given it time. OK, look, we've been through this. The house was listed all summer. There was a, it was a big ad. There was pictures. There was, a, there was a floor plan. Where? Where could she have seen it? It's not like we get the paper delivered to the cabin. I don't know. She probably saw it in town. I don't know. All right, let's say she did see it. How do you explain that you bought the exact same house? It is not the same house. Edgar, look at it. Look at the floor in the kitchen, the fireplace, the porch. It's exactly the same. All right, so why can't that be a, a, a good sign? You don't get it.
you won't let me stop playing. And what would happen if you stopped playing? He would be alone. His mommy doesn't play with him anymore. Why doesn't she play with him? Because my mommy won't let me see my Aunt Heather. Does that make David sad? Can he tell her that? He tries to, but she can't hear him. Those bruises must hurt. How'd that happen? I'm not supposed to talk about it. There is nothing physically wrong with her. They have done every kind of test, and they have all come back normal. So you've been to the doctor a lot? Yes, constantly. She's lost five pounds. She has no energy, no appetite. Their attitude is, if nothing comes back in the lab test, well, then it's just all in my head. Sarah says she misses her Aunt Heather. Yeah, we haven't seen her since we got back from the lake. Tell me about your relationship with Heather. Why? Well, I know you two are identical twins. Tell me about that. How is it relevant? Does it bother you to talk about Heather? No, I just... Because I... you seem bothered. Are you aware that your entire body language changed when I mentioned her name? a new school? It's classic Ron Munchausen's. Isolating Sarah while she appeals to medical professionals for attention. Honestly, Heather, I'm seriously considering contacting social services, but I wanted to talk to you first. Come on. Let's go. Sarah, go upstairs. Why? Now, go. Heather, get out of my house. Erica, we're very worried about you. Get out of my house. What were you doing talking to Dr. Koenig? Dr. Koenig called me. Why? Why is she calling you? Sarah is my daughter. Honey, honey, relax, OK? Dr. Koenig thinks that you're hurting Sarah. What? Oh, come on. What, you think I'm here beating my daughter while you're at work? No, no, of course not. Well, then get her out of the house so that we can deal with our daughter's problems privately. Look. I told Dr. Koenig not to call social services, and she won't, as a courtesy to me. Oh, as a courtesy to you? Do you think this is all about you? I told her that I would examine Sarah. The hell you will. Look, Erica, can we, can we just sit down and discuss this? Come here. Because I'm going to have to call Dr. Oh, Koenig Oh, you know myself, what? Okay, let's, let's I, call I social services right now, and we'll tell them the truth. That you think I'm pregnant with the reincarnation of your dead son. Oh, but you know what? Who's going to believe crazy hormonal Erica? Hey, honey, no, honey, no, don't honey. you see what she is doing? She is trying to push me okay. out so that she... No, don't touch okay. me. Get away from me. All right. Okay. Okay. Look, how about this? Let me at least just talk to Sarah. If I have my way, you will never see her again. Now get out. How'd you get those? I'm not sure. 
Do they hurt? A little bit. I'm really worried about you. Can you tell me what's wrong? No? Do you know what's wrong? Sweetie, I wish you could tell me, are you afraid? Is it David? Is, is he telling you something that's scaring you? Where's my daughter? I don't understand. Sarah, where is she? Last I saw, she was with you. What are you talking about? You signed her out 20 minutes ago. There. See? Do this. My daughter's in there. I'm sorry, you can't go back there. Why are you mad, David? I'm sick of waiting. I want to be born now. Now, now, now. Sarah! Get... Move, get out of my way, Sarah! Now, now, now! Sarah! Now, now, now! Heather, pick him up. Please. Now! You're not my mother. Honey, ah! oh, let go of me. Let go of me. Sarah's not here. She's with me. Maybe I'll keep her. Maybe we'll both play hide and seek. Talk to David that it would be okay. Look, you would have done the same thing in my position. Oh. Oh. 
Come here, baby. Get her back. Get her back now. David, it's time for Sarah to come back. She doesn't belong there with you. I don't care. Three, two, one. Oh, sweetie. Mommy, I'm tired. It's okay, it's okay. Come on. I'm gonna take you home. Get out of my way. Move! Come on. Where will you go? I don't know anywhere, just not here. Look, I promise you, I had no idea. Don't but... lie to me. You're on her side. Erica, please, look, she is in bed. She is so tired, just let her sleep. I can't be around you. I can't be around any of you. OK, then, then I'll go. If that's what it takes, you can, you can stay here. I will, I will go. I'll stay in a, a motel. Let's get to work. That boy's been walking skin close to her since the day he passed. Just waiting, feeding off her, biding his time till he can be reborn. This baby is not David. Not yet. His spirit can't come into a child till after it's born, which is why he's hanging on to Sarah. Problem is, it's taken longer than he expected. And our little girl isn't gonna survive another month of this. So what do we do? Do what I'm doing. Get everything of David's out of this house. What's it doing here? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I thought we left it up at the cabin. No wonder David's been so strong. You invited a spirit into your home. Give him a place to live. <sighs> Where's he turning? All right. 
You're coming up on the staff, okay? okay. Oh, wait. Are okay. you all right? Yeah. I don't think it's gonna work. Ow! Damn it! Are you okay? Stop, stop. Look, maybe you shouldn't be doing this, Erica. I have an idea. of it. May my hands be fresh. May the road be clear. May this house and this child be clean. Okay, honey. It's your turn now. I'm scared. Oh, don't be scared. I feel sorry for him. Poor boy doesn't know he's dead. It's up to us to help him move on, okay? Go ahead now. This is the last thing you have to do, and, and then everything's gonna be okay. Okay? You can do it. Go on, Sarah. Finish it. I'm sorry, David. I really am. But it's true. You're dead. You're dead. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's quiet. I can't hear anything. It's done. Hey. Rosie called. I asked her to. Look, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Look at her, Edgar. She's sleeping. I think for the first time in months, she's really sleeping. The attic. Sarah! 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 Sarah, honey. Don't move. Mommy, you say leave me alone. Daddy. 
Daddy is just coming to get you, okay? Baby, then we're gonna take you down to your bed, all right? That way you can sleep. No, he won't let me. Sarah? 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 Sarah, honey, you're scaring mommy. Sarah? It's okay. David says it doesn't hurt. Sarah! Mr. and Mrs. Lewis? We did a CAT scan. Okay. The good news is she didn't fracture her skull. But I'm not gonna lie to you. She suffered severe head trauma. There's a lot about these kind of brain injuries that we just don't know. We drained the excess fluid and stabilized her, but the rest is up to Sarah. Do you really believe David is trying to come back and won't let go of Sarah until he does? Yeah, I do. Then we're gonna give David what he wants. Hello, Dr. Lord. should induce labor within the next hour. You're at 34 weeks. The last six weeks are mostly insurance. Are you sure you want to do this? If I don't, he's going to take her. Just do it before I lose my nerve. What happens now? You're gonna have a baby. Good, good, good. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Come on, small breaths. Oh. The head is crowning. No. You're doing great. This baby's in a big hurry to come into this world. Come on now, Erica. Just give me one more push. <laughs> Erica, you have a beautiful baby girl. That's not right. It, it can't be a girl. Say hello to your new daughter. No, that that that's not right. That it can't. No, it can't be a girl. Call that girl. Edgar, it's Heather. How's Sarah? How's Sarah? Heather, how's my baby? Nothing's changed. Maybe this was a mistake. Maybe this was all wrong. Another one. Oh, what? It's a footling breach. Damn, it won't budge. Oh. What are we gonna do? 
Page anesthesiology in the OR. Uh, Erica, I'm going to have to do an emergency C-section. I think we have a cord around the neck. Okay, it's okay. I'm right here. Anesthesiologist, stat. Anesthesiologist, stat. Happy Halloween, everybody. What do you say we welcome this newest little pumpkin? It's a boy. Having a hidden twin isn't all that uncommon. And if the heartbeats are in sync and they're aligned just right, it's easy enough to miss the second baby on a sonogram if you aren't looking for it. But it wasn't David. He's Jack. Even Heather can see that. Heather, I want to show you something. If identical twins can read each other's minds, well, my sister already knows this, but just in case, I believed in him too. Thanks. Shot. Living upstairs from a voodoo shop. 